Right now, five of the top six cars running are ECR engines. Kurt Busch thanking the crew after his last drive for Phoenix Racing and owner James Finch. Ends with him going from leading the race to a hiccup and out of fuel and being crashed out of the back straightaway. And we watch Taylor Earnhardt Jr. in that neon green car try and get in front of Kyle Busch. Not with us earlier. Kyle and Junior, along with Trevor Bain, caught for speeding on pit road. On a set of green flag stops, all lost a lap. Bain got the free pass at the most recent caution. 18, Kyle and 88, Junior, fighting to be the first car a lap down should the caution wave again. Yeah, I've been watching Junior work extremely hard in trying to fight his way towards the front of this pack to get back in that free pass position. Check in the garage with Mike Massaro. And Kurt Busch has just uh, shaken hands and hugged all his uh, team members. He'll be leaving after this race. Obviously, this is not the way you'd like to see this end. What happened? Yeah, we ran out of gas. I, I don't know how to explain it any other way than that. Uh, ran out of gas while leading. Uh, we were four laps away from pitting. Just one of those situations to where whether it was a miscalculation in fuel mileage or the fuel cell wasn't picking up all the fuel. You know, we're a team that worked really hard this year and little things might have been overlooked here or there but we gave it all we had and I just went around and hugged all the guys and said thanks and it's just a tough way to go out man we were leading ran out of gas it's kind of how our year went this year we had all the potential in the world we just never pulled it all together for 500 miles it's always chaotic when you come to Talladega making matters worse you had a damaged race car NASCAR was was telling you to stop uh, did you hear that command no I didn't uh, I got out of the car and surveyed the damage saw that it could still roll so I jumped back in and I remembered with these engines they'll run at 20 percent of fuel pressure to get it back to the garage so I tried like heck that's the competitor in me that's the desire that I have and that's what gets misconstrued all the time and this is the way my life works today's a perfect example I'm leading I wreck I run out of gas. I'm still that competitive guy to try to get back in the race. And now NASCAR is yelling at me because I don't have my helmet on. And I'm trying to get it to the garage so the guys can work on it. Now I'm in trouble. Now I got this uh, little storm right here. I mean, this is my life. So I, I'm not complaining. I put myself in a lot of these situations. But it's on to good and good things now moving forward. I, I got all the bad luck out of the way. And this year has been a great year to test me in every which way. Thanks for your time. All right, thanks. Alan? All right, Mike. So the thoughts of Kurt Busch, he moves on to Furniture Row Racing, beginning next weekend at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Jamie McMurray in the one, trying to get the lead from Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch, 18. Dale Jr., 88. The subplot racing to be the first car lap down. And still 29 cars on the lead lap. And even more than that in this lead pack. Yeah, and I think there's two drivers that are probably having to do a little more push and taking a chance overheating their engines. That's Dale Jr. You can see him right up on the bumper of Jamie McMurray trying to get to the front, trying to get in that free pass position. It's working right now. Kyle Busch has been doing a lot of pushing also. They're taking a chance, but it's a chance they have to take right now. So Jamie McMurray back to the lead. <laughs> Dale Jr. back to the first car a lap down. And as always at Talladega, the picture changes every lap. Long way to go. We go NASCAR nonstop, presented by Pennzoil. Let's take an inside look and get unlimited access to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, brought to you by the NASCAR Sprint Cup mobile app and truly unlimited data on the Sprint Network. Matt Kenseth out in front of this race, one of 31 lead changes, just happening to put that 17 back out in front, and Matt has led the most laps in today's race. He's been out in front for 22 of the 121 circuits. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been out in front for 18 laps. Get unlimited access to NASCAR with live in-car audio and real-time stats on the NASCAR Sprint Cup mobile app, only from Sprint. Get the app and Sprint's truly unlimited data plan at Sprint.com slash speed. Boy, 
Daytona right now would be a perfect opportunity to get a couple of cars that have a couple of drivers that have fast cars back on the lead lap if we could have some type of caution with Kyle Busch. He's actually back on the lead lap right now. Dale Jr. would be the recipient of the free pass. Yeah, the problem is for a caution to come out, <laughs> there's been some pretty risky things happening out there. Seen a couple of times it should have been a huge wreck and it really turned out to be just a few cars. Some of the championship contenders running up front. Some have chosen to hang out on the back most of the day. Let's update them now as we go up to speed, starting with Mike Massaro. Well, Alan, we knew coming into the day that the 17 car, Matt Kenseth, would be fast. That's based upon how they performed at restrictor plate tracks throughout the course of 2012. But it has been a bit of a struggle for them trying to dial this machine in today. They made a track bar adjustment, lowering it two rounds on the last stop. Matt Kenseth came over the radio moments ago telling Jimmy Fennick he made it worse. Way too loose in traffic for his liking right now, Vince. Well, the next in line is that green car of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now, Jr. is a lap down, but he is in the lucky dog spot. So if we get a yellow and he stays in that current position, he's going to be back on the lead lap. He uh, was penalized for speeding on pit lane. Crew chief Steve Latar told Jr., we got a long way to go. A lot of racing left. We'll get that lap back and you'll be in good position. Jamie? This has been a good day for Kevin Harvick so far. The plan from the beginning was to run up front. Based on what they found out in practice, the car was good up front. It was good in traffic. The only issue for Kevin today is running on the bottom. He said it's been terrible for him. He prefers the outside. Doc? And behind them, back now in sixth position is Greg Biffle. And Biffle, who has lost six positions in the point standings the last three races, the first three of the chase, said we got a good race car, but the, guy, the car had gotten a little bit free. Remember, this uh, pavement starting to wear a little bit. They added some wedge on the last pit stop, and the other issue was saving fuel. Greg said, I can save a little fuel, and I have this run. We should be able to make it to about 43 to go. Vince. Running in eighth place is the two of Brad Keselowski, the man who came into this race as the chase leader. Remember, he's won two of the first three races here, and he's won twice here at Talladega, including the race here in May. It's been a pretty uneventful race for Brad so far. Their strategy was simple, crew chief Paul Wolf says. We're going to go for it. It's business as usual. Now the six-time Talladega winner Jeff Gordon who felt very confident he had a car that could win it here today started today 48 points back and said I can make a big gain today but a moment ago Jeff on the radio said unless I have the five car pushing me I'm not going anywhere if I can get the five to me we can make some progress now talk about the five car Casey Kane who ran out of fuel and had to restart back in 28th position came on the pit road topped off his tank at lap 102 Maybe it was the different weather conditions. Maybe they didn't get it full. Either way, they're hoping to make it to lap 143, 144 and make the final pit stop. And also, they've got to get to the 24 car to get both those cars together back to the front. Jamie. Chad Canals told me this morning there was no specific plan for Jimmy Johnson today. He told me he was going to leave it in Jimmy's hands. So what did he do? Right at the start, he fell back. As you're looking at Denny Hamlin there, who's working his way forward. Jimmy Johnson, he dropped to the back, went to the front on pit strategy, led some laps, and falling back now. After the last pit stop, though, Chad Canals just radioed to him. It's all out. We're going for it after this. Mike? Jamie, talking to Clint Boyer this morning, he was full of energy, actually bouncing off the walls. You can understand why he'd be so excited. After all, he's won the fall race here in Talladega the past two years. Felt like he had a pretty good race car. However, he's lost a little bit of stability, especially in the rear end. They pull the Packer from the right front on the last pit stop, but still the car has not reacted the way he's liking. He's in the middle of the pack exactly where he did not want to be this afternoon. And for the lead, Greg Biffle pushed by Eric Almarola around Matt Kenseth. It is Ford running one, two, three. At a track where, for whatever reason, they've certainly run well, but they just haven't had a lot of success in recent years. Only two of the last 27 Talladega races have been won by a Ford. Just to wrap up a couple of the other chase drivers, Tony Stewart there running in 27th position, Martin Truex Jr. running in 28th, or they swap that back and forth between them. Again, a couple of the guys that have chosen to hang out at the back of the pack. Matt Kenseth out in front. We can just see how strong that 18 car is, though. If he could get that lap back, he'd be a serious contender for the win. Yes, as would Dale Jr. Uh, be a in a position to make that happen too. 
see up there uh, in that second groove there. But, uh, trying to make all of that work and it just takes you got to stay hooked up so much right there. Trevor Bain, who was a lap down at one point, got that free pass. He was making a solid run there till he lost his partner. Jeff Gordon trying to hook up with Trevor Bain in the draft and see if they can get back to the front. Second car in line, Matt Kenseth is the race leader. Coming up to 350 miles at Talladega.